Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome, welcome to the podcast A Coffee with the Angels. <laughs> this is probably, I think this is the first episode I'm recording in English. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you sharing this moment with me. Um, here in the podcast, we're going to talk a lot about angels, energy, universe, consciousness, Reiki. So welcome, thank you for joining me today. Um, this is the first episode of 2021 and I was planning to bring you something, a topic to talk to you about something today, but the angels actually asked me to talk about something else and of course I am always following what they're asking me. So we're going to talk about divine timing today. Um, it's interesting because I was wondering, I was talking to the angels and asking them what exactly is it like, how exactly does it work, divine timing and our power of manifestation? I mean, I was asking them, like, how can this be working together? If the divine timing is always applied, does that mean that, it, I, you know, it doesn't matter how much I work on my manifestation or my energy? You know, I'm not going to manifest until the divine timing decides it's time. So I was talking to them about this. And they, and this is what they asked me to talk to you about, which is the answer they actually gave me. So they said, the first of all, we need to understand something here. We are not creators of our reality. We are co-creators of our reality. What does it mean? It means that we are manifesting together with the universe we're not doing it alone and the universe is not doing it by itself either we are doing it together we our job when it comes to the manifestation of things to the the experience of things that we want in our lives our job is to actually work on ourselves, work on our energy in order for us to get in alignment, vibrational alignment with the thing that we want to manifest. And this period be, between getting ready, you know, aligning your energy to get there, this is the divine timing that they're always talking about. So what they ask us always is trust the divine timing, yes, why do they say this? Because we're not going to manifest anything until we are, we are ready for it. Until we are in alignment, in vibrational alignment with the thing that we want to experience. This is what they mean. This is what the divine timing is. So we need to understand that we are co-creating constantly. The divine timing is always being applied, meaning that the divine timing is the period between the moment we start working on our energy, aligning ourselves, shifting our energy and vibration, and, and, and getting closer to what we want to manifest vibrationally. The divine timing is this period in between. So that, that's why they're always saying, trust the divine timing. You got to trust what you're doing. You got to trust that it's going to come exactly at the very moment when you are in complete and full trust, alignment, um, and connection with the dream, with the thing that you want to manifest. So we need to understand this because I, and I, trust me, I hear this a lot. People come to me and say, oh, you know, I keep talking to the angels and I ask them to, to bring me this, but I guess they are busy. I guess, I guess they're helping everyone else. They don't want to listen to me. They don't want to help me. Look at what you're manifesting here. You're pushing the angels away. You're pushing your own power of manifestation away. Because we manifest exactly what we're focusing on. If you are in fear, you're going to manifest fear. If you are in gratitude, you're going to manifest more reasons to be grateful for. If you are focusing on the lack, on the things that you don't have, you're going to manifest more things that you don't have. If you focus, if you focus on, the, on the things that you already have, then you will manifest more of that. This is what we need to understand. This is a huge difference here. Wherever we are focusing on, whatever we want to believe, 
is what we are going to create with the divine. And the period to get there is the divine timing. Listen, divine timing is being applied for everything. Even to manifest negative things. Because you are the one who is, who is choosing what you want to manifest. The divine is just bringing it to you. It's just, it's just bringing that thing you want to manifest closer according to the energy and the vibration you are on. You know what I mean? This is the divine timing. So they want you to understand what exactly are you vibrating on right now. We need to understand we are working together in this. Our resistance, our, uh, you know, and this is this often happens to everyone, I guess. I mean, most people, at least. We, we tell the universe exactly how the universe should work. <laughs> we tell the angels, you know, you need to give me this and that in this date, in this way. You know, we tell them this, that, that, that. No, because when we do that, we take off the control. We take off the power of the universe to actually help us because we are telling the universe, I don't trust you. I'm telling you that it should be this way, you know, and then it takes forever. And sometimes we never even manifest anything because we are trying to take control of everything. It's not 100% up to us. We are working together. It's 50-50 here. You, your job when it comes to manifesting is to get in alignment, in vibrational alignment to the thing that you want to achieve. There are many ways to do this. There are many techniques, power of manifestation, law of attraction. You can search for it. But it's about keep going, keep going, not giving up, keep moving on because the divine timing is there. You are, if it's not there yet, if you didn't manifest it yet, it means you're not in alignment with it yet. It means there's still doubt. There's still questioning. There's still fear involving this. There needs to be a full surrender, knowing that the universe is working with you. The universe, gods, the angels, whatever you want to call it, they're not there looking at yourself and saying, mm, Maria doesn't deserve this. I'm not going to give it to her now. No, no, no. It's just later maybe. I'll think about it. No. The universe is always giving us what we are asking for, what we are in vibrational alignment with. Period. So you need to understand the difference here. Divine timing is always being applied when it comes to what you are doing. That's the divine timing. You are working together with it. Okay? It's not, don't blame divine time because I also hear this. You know, ah, oh, it's taking forever. Oh, God don't want, don't like me, whatever. You know? <laughs> it's not like that. You can manifest something tomorrow if you want to. You are powerful enough to manifest what you want because the universe is constantly listening and working to help, towards helping you. But you need to play your part in this. You need to work in your energy. You need to be knowing that you are that powerful, knowing that the universe has your back, knowing that you're working together, knowing that it is going to come. It doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter when, you just know it's yours. You just know it's a matter of time you're going to get there, the divine time. And the divine time is your own power of working and moving the energy until you get there. How wonderful it is. The universe is perfect. The universe is not going to bring anything until you're ready, until you are vibrationally in alignment with it, until you are vibrating with the thing you want to manifest. There's a huge difference here. Step back. Okay, step back. Stop creating resistance. Stop questioning. Just trust. Work in yourself. Work in your alignment. Work towards your goals. Nothing is ever going to manifest if you continue to be and to live the way you are. Forget it. <laughs> we need to be feeding it. We need to be giving life to it. Through our actions, through our thoughts, through our words through the things we write, to, through the things we, we think about when we are in bed, you know. You need to work together with the universe. The universe is not against you. You're not working in this alone. The universe is not doing this by itself. The universe is not giving, you know, this person deserves this, that person doesn't deserve that, and this and that, because we also have so many of these beliefs, right? I don't deserve this. Why am I getting this? You need to understand everything that is in alignment with us is going to come to us through our own powers. 
through the through the connection the divine connection we have within us we are working together in this the universe is not going to bring you what you're not in alignment with the universe only brings you what you are in alignment with so think about that okay beautiful so this is my message for you for this first episode in english this first episode of the year thank you so much for joining me if you are new here make sure you subscribe or join or whatever i don't know if you're watching this on youtube or listening to this in any podcast platform but thank you for joining me don't forget to subscribe don't forget to be part of our tribe here um and yeah if you have questions let me know let me know your thoughts about this share this if it's making sense to you i'm sending you love and light take care of yourself may your 2021 be so blessed and so full of manifestation and dreams may the angels work with you throughout the year they are already but you need to understand this <laughs> take care of yourself beautiful soul and i'll talk to you soon namaste